what's happening what's going on welcome to the channel if you got something out of this video and it helped you make sure you subscribe no pressure though but what i'm going to do in this video is show how to cut down your render times pretty significantly if you've got certain things so some of the things might not apply to you but a lot of what i'm going to show you in the render settings will help make your renders a lot faster and it's it's pretty pretty simple what you can do is at the end you can save this before i even show you any of the settings the faster your gpu on your computer or laptop the quicker your renders will be and the better blender will run so the, the better your graphics card if you've got a rtx graphics card gpu then yeah the better the if you've got like a 3050 or a 4070 obviously the 4070 will be faster because it's a better graphics card but yeah the better your graphics card the better your renders and the faster they'll be but enough of that let's jump into some settings so first thing you want to do is preferences go here and make sure system you're using your graphics card your gpu okay and you can see if i've got none i've got mine checked and just make sure if you've got a graphics card you just enable that so first thing you want to do is make sure you're in cycles and make sure your gpu is enabled and you're using it you don't want to be using your cpu you want to be using your gpu if you've got it and that will make already a big pretty big difference then what you want to do is make sure your noise threshold is enabled so you can check it and this will consider to about 0 0.5 your max samples you don't need it to be that high so you can make it like 200 300 usually i'll give it at about 300 because the higher the max samples the longer it's going to take and this is for animations if you don't want animations you can make this about 0 0.05 or 500 and also you can leave it at about 300 even bring it down to about 200 is perfect now what you want to do is go to lights so light paths and you can bring this down to about four and you can either diffuse transmission you can also bring down to about four if you've got volume you can bring this up a touch and transparent also to about four now what you want to do is go down to performance and change the use tiling make sure it's and bring it up to 256 and check persistent data that will save a lot of time and then you can go yeah and if you want your file format you can change it if you are doing animations you can change to open exr or if you are just doing still images the jpeg is perfect the quality leave it at i'd say 100 percent you can always bring it up if you want but that will make it a bit slower and that's basically it that's how you you will save a lot of time with these render settings and uh, hopefully it helps you make sure you subscribe see you in the next video peace also check out the patreon become a member you can become a member for free got some free stuff on there or paid help the channel but yeah hopefully you enjoy the video make sure you subscribe peace